To create a new brush from scratch, enter the brush menu by tapping on an already active tool and then tap New Pack. To edit a brush, tap on it while active or tap Edit Brush from up here. To help me demonstrate the dynamic adjustments, I'll start by adding a few stamps and lowering the spacing under shape controls. Under Presets and Basic Dynamics, you'll find the size, opacity, and smoothness presets that you're accustomed to from the tool wheel or bar. Size and opacity also have variance graphs that allow you to fine tune the brush dynamics to your stylus's pressure, tilt, and velocity inputs. Let's say I want the brush size to react to pressure. If you look at the background of the graph, you'll see it shows the pressure range of my stylus input on the preview screen. When I apply very little pressure, only the beginning part of the graph is highlighted. When I apply a lot of pressure, only the end of the graph is highlighted. If I vary the pressure along the way, most of the pressure range is covered, and thus most of the graph is highlighted. When we start making changes to the graph, which you can do by running the styles across, you can see how this affects the width of the brush at any given pressure. For the brush to appear smaller at lower pressures and larger at higher pressures, I'll keep the bars of the graph low on the left side and higher on the right side. The smoother the curve here, the smoother the transition will be on the brush. When I exaggerate one of these, you'll see how the stamps at that pressure point stand out. You can always reset the graph by double tapping on the gauge on the side. Tilt and velocity work the same way. Tilting the stylus along the stroke reveals its range on the graph, and we can make the brush react accordingly. And the same goes with velocity. Combining these three is what really makes brushes feel like dynamic analog tools. For the opacity brush, I'll create a new brush and add a more sparse stamp so we can see the effect. Say I want something like a pencil, where adding pressure increases the intensity of the stroke. I'll draw a sample and adjust the curve. And we have a brush that reacts to pressure by varying its opacity. The lower the bar, the lower the opacity. We have the option to vary the opacity based on tilt and velocity as well. If you don't like the changes, you can reset the graph by double tapping on the gauge on the side. Finally, there's a slider for the smoothness value. Smoothing averages out your strokes to create a line that is smoother than your raw input, but still retains some of the subtleties of the gesture. This value can be controlled directly from the tool wheel or bar as well.